Okay, what I got here is some uh, regular Photoshop 7 tutorial how to. I'm going to be doing one of the most basic things that is done on Photoshop, which is to superimpose an image. Now, there's so many different ways of superimposing. I've already selected the image that I'm going to be using. Now, I took this. I took this at um, at an earlier date, and actually, I took this the same day. And what I want to do now is just combine these two shots. One way of doing it is by clicking and dragging, and then free transform your size the size according to how you want it by holding control T and then uh, downsizing it or upsizing scaling the picture according to your to the size that you want it to be appropriate with your other image so I, I remember taking this on the same day I couldn't I didn't have a tripod so I couldn't take a picture of myself and the sunset but I did manage to get the sunset which looks uh, very impressive I think if I put it on this side better it would look like uh, actually the shadow the shadow matches my pants perfectly so what you can also do is you can invert the picture you can I can have the bag on that side rather than on this side in case you didn't know you could do that can do anything really in this case what I wanted to do was to um, play around with the brushes but yeah that's just to show that's one quick way of uh, bringing in your image now if you want to upload this to YouTube of course it's not gonna it's not gonna upload because it's not a it's saved as a Photoshop automatically it's a Photoshop file so you have to save it as a JPEG now if you want to avoid all of that you can just press um, go down to your Go down to the menu and put type in snipping snipping tool and the snipping tool give you a picture right away it'll generate a JPEG right away which you can then send to whichever medium you're sending to whichever platform so there it is Usually what I do is I, I save it and I, I'll send it right away like that. But you, you can do both, both uh, depending on what you're doing, the quality is good on both. Either the save, saved as a JPEG in your computer or generating a JPEG instantly like this with the snipping tool. Now that copies the clipboard right away as soon as it's, as soon as it's created, it's copied the clipboard which you can then I'll prove it to you by opening up a new image, control N, and let's put 300, make it by 10, that makes it 300, so let's copy paste, like I told you, it's already copied the clipboard, so there it is, so there's my image. And there it is. As you can see, it's just as good as the other one. The quality is just as good. Let's see? Well, actually, this one's a little bit better. And you can see why, because it's the original image. The original image is always going to be a little bit more detailed, no matter what. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see the pixelization here. Whereas here, you see no pixelization. Now, it's not because it's zoomed in as much because here I have it even zoomed in twice as much but here's pixelized because again it's a JPEG see the pixelization here and see there's no pixelization here here's smooth because this was taken with a uh, SLR camera Nikon and it's a very very good uh, camera and it gave me a great shot so that concludes how that's part one now I'll show you the second way that you can bring in an image Okay, the second way that you bring it in is by, now you have, I have my image selected, that's this one here, and here's where it's going to go, let's say I want to put it here, 
say I want to put myself on superimpose myself on top of this image you can by just by selecting it of course if you selected the area exactly I selected it exactly how I wanted it to be transported now it's gonna be you're gonna be using the brush tool now and no I mean the rubber stamp tool and we're gonna get up to a very good size and put a good a nice soft brush get it up to about 300 that's it right there and then I'll start I'll just copy away usually go from the center of my nose because that's the center okay nothing's happening because yeah there it is but it's a totally different size so I can't use that yeah <laughs> Yeah, and it's different lighting, so I'll just add it in here. And then here's the second way you can do it. You can just add it yourself in by rubber stamp, rubber stamp tool. Copy from one image, one Photoshop image directly to another. Ah, there it is. There's my demo. Now I did this with only, with, with just three or four three or four um, clicks of a, mic, a mouse, clicks of a button, there's the before, there's the after, that's that. And for more tutorials you can check out my YouTube channel, it's Quintero Tonalayo. And you can look for Jairo Bonilla, Quintero Mexicatlan. And I upload videos almost every day. <laughs>